Construction on a brand new Navy ship has officially begun at the NASCO shipyard in Barrio Logan. Our 10 News anchor Derek Stahl explains why local leaders say this is a big moment for the San Diego and the LGBT community. The loud, hard work is underway after crews cut the first piece of steel on what will become the USNS Harvey Milk. The ship, named for the San Francisco supervisor who was the first openly gay elected official in California history and who was assassinated in 1978. He often became a spokesman for the gay community. Milk's nephew attended the ceremony. Here we had an institution that actually prevented LGBT people from serving, and then we allowed them to serve. This sends a much, much different message than simply tolerance. It says a message that we celebrate everyone who's brave enough, all the men and women who will serve in the military. As a naval officer, Harvey Milk was stationed in San Diego as a diving instructor in the 1950s, but was forced to resign for being gay. And it's because of Harvey Milk and his legacy that we have so many openly LGBTQ people in this state. It'll take about a thousand workers over two years to build the USNS Harvey Milk. And General Van Emmick's NASCO says the project will support a lot of local businesses. Here in Barrio Logan in 92113, we've got about 40 suppliers and vendors that directly support us. So it is it is a big effort. Um, it is a community effort and we're very, very excited to be uh, building the ship. San Diego was the first city in the country to name a street after Harvey Milk. Stuart Milk says it's fitting the ship would be built here. Don't forget we have 73 countries in the world where it's still illegal to be LGBT. So it's not just a message for here in San Diego or for California or the U.S. This is a global message and San Diego is part of making that happen. Derek Stahl, 10 News.